everybody you might be able to tell where i am from in the background there i'm just trying to find something to prop you up on my dashboard mm -hmm. that do? okay yeah hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i am picking up the camera today as i am back where i used to live north of manchester towards burnley for hairdress appointment which i've actually already had you may or may not be able to tell but i can always tell um that i've had my like roots done i've also had a bit of a chop we've gone a little bit shorter and uh choppier with the layers so i'm excited to give it a good style and um yeah i i'm a fan love it so i was gonna pick up the camera before heading into the hairdressers this morning but i ended up having a bit of a bit of a mare it was an earlier appointment and en route over whilst i was driving here along the motorway a big rock hit my windscreen so i say big rock it was that quick i actually don't know what it was i'm assuming it was like some kind of stone or something but it's cracked my windshield so whilst i was in the hairdresser i was busy trying to sort insurance cost to repair having someone to come out to repair it which they did but they had a look and they said no it's not a repair it needs to be fully replaced so i need to book in to have it replaced as soon as possible really i'll show it to you in fact i'll insert a photo that i took of it so you can see it better but it's just so annoying so annoying more the faff more than anything of having to like book in to get it done then sort out with insurance the cost to repair it but it is what it is so that is why i'm only just picking up the camera now i've just left the hairdressers and i've come to i always whenever i pop into the hairdressers here i always come to this home bargains because it is quite a big one it's in nelson if you know the area and there's also two in burnley at least i still think there's two that are also quite good i've seen that they've got quite a lot of their christmas stuff out now which is crazy crazy early but I have a couple of stock ups of things I need to get for the house anyway, a couple of cleaning bits and I thought whilst I'm in there and whilst it is just before two, so I've still got the rest of this afternoon or a few hours before I need to pick up Barney from daycare, I thought I would take you guys shopping with me and have a little look. I also need to do a bit of a food shop so I think I'm going to go via Sainsbury's en route back but yeah. Love car. I've just grabbed myself a sandwich. So it's quite a late lunch. I didn't take lunch to the hairdresser this morning. I usually do, but um because I usually go to the hairdresser a little bit later, I'm usually there over lunch, whereas I finished well it's still nearly two. I will just say, whilst I was in booths getting my sandwich, I also spotted this which looks absolutely delicious. Popcorn, which I love anyway, proper corn is really good, but this one is in the flavour caramelized biscuits and they also do i'll show you this is really naughty <laughs> and also very premature and early but because we used to live near the booths here and we used to get these every christmas it's kind of the nostalgia because we don't really go to booths where we live now these that they do every year insane so i picked up this pack of 12 chocolate and biscuit puddings they're honestly so delicious and then they also do these blondies and brownies which especially the blondies i love the white chocolate oh, so good so anyway they're always on offer two for i think it's two for five pounds but i picked them up as a little naughty treat i mean they say they're good until end of october and end of december they're not gonna last that long <laughs> take it from me but anyway i'm gonna enjoy my sandwich now and then head on in to the shops
and didn't even fit in. Did I need another pumpkin? Absolutely not. But did I buy one anyway? Absolutely yes. How could I not take this guy home? He is perfect. I'm gonna be really, really ruthless with my autumn decor because I feel like I've actually got quite a lot left over, but it's stuff that I'm like, oh, it's okay. Whereas stuff like this, like these little things, if they're in keeping with the decor and they make a really nice addition, then I'm gonna keep it. Like I'm actually gonna keep this one out. I'm not sure, probably, probably pop it on the shelves or something somewhere. Also got a couple of other bags, but before I show you them, I'm just gonna run and, well, it's four o'clock. So I've got a couple of hours yet, but um, I'm gonna go pick up Barney a little bit early because he didn't have his breakfast this morning. He never usually eats breakfast. He is not a breakfast guy. <laughs> and um, I feel like he'll be hungry. So I'm thinking of him and also I miss him. So I'm gonna pick him up early, but before I go pick him up, I'm gonna head to Sainsbury's like I said I would, just to run and grab some food. Also, I got a toffee latte on route home and I can feel in that there's probably still half left. But it's so interesting how when you don't have caffeine for such a long time, because I just never get caffeine anymore. I always get caffeine free. Even like my Diet Cokes, I usually, if they've got it, I have a caffeine free one. But yeah, on the odd occasion, like today, I will have it. But it's so interesting how much it affects your body because even that half of a milky coffee, but with caffeine, because they don't do decaf at McDonald's, how much it affects your body. Like I don't feel anxious, because for me going to the hairdresser is always a bit anxiety inducing, but I have done it now. So I always feel so much better after I do something that usually brings on a bit of anxiety, like appointments, um, and I feel fine. But I just, my, my body, it just feels unsettled or a bit like jittery and it's because I've had that little bit of caffeine. So yeah, if anyone else gets those feelings and you've thought about cutting out caffeine, I would recommend you do because it really does affect you. Same with like alcohol. I don't really drink alcohol, although I've never been a big drinker ever. Like anyone that knows me just knows that I don't drink. I I'll have a drink every now and again, but yeah, never to the point and I don't think I ever will now, to the point where it gets me like tipsy or drunk. I just, it's not me. But caffeine is a similar, similar lines. Sugar's meant to be like that too. However, I do have a sweet tooth and that is definitely, and you will see in the few bits that I got from Home Bargains and obviously those chocolate bits that I got from Boots that sugar is definitely something that I could reduce in my diet. But anyway, why am I waffling about sugar? Let me head over to Sainsbury's, do a bit of a food shop, go grab Barney, and um, I'll show you any kind of like new and bits in Sainsbury's as well actually, because again, little birdie told me that they might have some Christmas things out. And I do like Sainsbury's home, I really, really rate it, especially for the supermarkets. One of my fave. setup going on here. I've just basically fed Barney, had a nice warm shower. You know when you go to the hairdresser and you've got like, you can feel little bits of your hair cuttings on you. Um, I've not done any of my skincare yet though, but I'll do that in a sec. But I thought I would sit down and share with you everything that I bought. Same sprays. Wow. Okay, so it was a lot of like Christmassy stuff that I was looking at, but they had some gorgeous things. The favorite thing of mine that they had was this cookbook stand. So I've got a wooden one, but I'm going to donate that because I feel like in comparison to this, that was like a couple of pounds from Aldi. I'd rather donate that one and have this one. This one's a beautiful like open 
you can have your book open on this like on a nice display page obviously like whilst you're baking i am early i appreciate but that i couldn't leave behind like this gorgeous simple framed quote that just says tis the season to be jolly i don't even know if you can see that it's just getting a reflection of the uh windows or whatever tis the season to be jolly la 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 Oh, guys, I know it's early. I know. I know. You don't have to tell me. I'm obviously not putting these bits out yet. They are going in my storage. But the book stand was £18. The wall art, it says wall art, £8. I think that would be nice just kind of propped up maybe on one of my shelves or something. Can you hear the rain? It's just gone really dark. I'm quite glad I picked up Barney when I did because... Mind you, I was going to say because he'd be outside at daycare because he loves, he's always in the outside section. He just loves it. Although I've got the door open and he's out there now. So it doesn't really make a difference. Right, I also got this. Now this was like one of the sale bargains. They had quite a lot of sale things in the home fragrance section. No, it's not for you. It's not for you. Um, this was reduced down from £22 down to £8. In the scent Fresh Air and Birch. And it's just a simple, because I did have a quick look at the actual diffuser. It's just a simple amber glass bottle. Then I got a couple of seasonal candles, like as in Christmas seasonal candles. So again, these going straight away into storage, but ready to pop out in November. Fireside and Embers. For me, I thought I'm going to give this a try because... If I can find a dupe for the White Company Fireside scent, I'm onto a winner. Um, it, does, it doesn't smell as strong, but it does smell nice. They had um, a load of reduced fragrances, and one of them was in the scent Morning Coffee that looked aesthetic, looked gorgeous, but I couldn't I enjoy the smell of it. It was one of those fragrances that I was like, I'm getting this for the look, so no, I'm going to leave it. But this one does smell lovely, and it's in one of these, like, frosted mercury stained pots which obviously you could repurpose or reuse I mean pop some potpourri in there after and then in the they had quite a lot of this scent as well in fur balsam fur fur balsam but it's oh this all year round out of all the spring scents summer scents autumn scents winter scents I think I have to say Fur scented products are my favorite. Oh, fur tree from the White Company. Delicious, this is actually very similar to that, so a good dupe. So the Froster Candle, eight pounds. The Tree Candle, 12 pounds. Kind of pricey, right? 12 pounds for that, but I have no justification. <laughs> and then the last thing that I got is this ceramic incense burner. You may remember from a recent vlog, I found like this little incense burner house with the little chimney like this one in like a log cabin which I thought would be perfect for Christmas but this one I guess you could have out all year round but I do quite like a Christmassy scene with white ceramic houses so I've got that log cabin one which I do love but this one I prefer because of just the simple design of it it was eight pounds eight pounds which was the same price pretty much that I paid for the other log cabin one. Both are lovely, but this I think has my heart just because of its simplicity. Love it. And basically, if you don't know, you just pop like a little incense cone on the inside, blow it out, and then obviously because of the chimney spout, it looks like smoke coming from the chimney. Oh, so cute. I'll show you the home bargains bits now. I've got a couple of bags. There's some boring purchases, I'm not gonna lie, like toothpaste. Which we don't really need to see, do we, Barney? Oh, but then there are cute little Christmassy finds like this. So I'm thinking to replace where this olive tree is to have a real tree in the lead up to Christmas. Maybe even if I can rope Tom into doing it with me, but going and picking our own somewhere. I think that could be really fun. I've never done that before. For that tree, I've said it before, but I'm just going to go nostalgic felt things cute random things rather than a specific glam or look to it the white company style that tree will be in the bay window in the black room that's going to be like the grand 
balsam hill tree that i'll probably do in november whereas that one's probably more likely going to be a december purchase closer to christmas whereby maybe like the first week of december or something whereby we can go and pick our own and it will last until christmas because that's the only thing with getting a real one i tell a lie i have been to pick a real tree i used to go with tom in the old house but it wasn't really like a christmas tree farm it was just a place up the road where you could just pick one so yeah, it wasn't quite like going and cutting one down. So anyway, I got this cute little Christmas decoration for that tree, which was £1.49. And it's just, it reminds me of something that Zara Home had last year. And actually a couple of things that I did get from Zara Home that will go on that same tree. So it goes with it. They had these in white and obviously red. I went for the red one. Letters to Santa Claus, special delivery. It reminds me of living in America with the little what's it called you pop this up when you've got mail to be collected from the postman because that's how you do it in america if you didn't already know you have these sat at the end of your drive rather than by your front door and then as the postman is driving around he opens it up does this open it does open cute he opens it up pops your mail in and if you've left your flag up it means that there is mail there for the postman to take and then he pops the flag down closes your mail in there and that's how the mail system works in America, if you didn't already know. Some news of Flora, the seasonal cranberry and orange. I start using it this time of the year. It's so warm and cozy and I love it. And then they've got this new fragrance actually from Febreze, which I thought I would try. And it's called Lapland. Now, seeing as though we did go to Lapland at the start of this year, I thought it was fitting and I thought I would try it out. So I've got a fresh plug-in and the refill from Febreze in Lapland. Lapland. And then I also got one of the bathroom air fresheners and because these are always on offer three for whatever it is, three for a few pounds. I did also pick up these two seasonal scents. Spiced apple, which is a favorite of mine, and then also the Mrs. Hinch Frosted Pine and Eucalyptus. She did have a new range out, Rose Wonderland Winter Edition, I think it is. It was too floral for me, so I did leave that on this occasion, but the Frosted Pine and Eucalyptus is spot on for me for, for winter. I saw these going back to autumn now back to the actual time of the year that it is pumpkin spice latte flavored sachets so i always find these even though they've obviously got caffeine in them because they're not too caffeinated but i can get on board with them and i don't have too many but pumpkin spice latte i'm not going to be comparing it to the starbucks one i don't think it'll be remotely similar but We'll give it a go nonetheless. And then I've also got some Airwick plugins, plugs already that need refills. And this is my favorite scent of all time for the plugins. This Stacey Solomon Winter Walks one. Again, notes of fresh pine. I like using this all year round if I can buy it. I got some pet wipes. Never seen these ones before. But they look quite big. So hopefully good for wiping muddy paws from you. He's in his bed already. He's always so tired after spending the day at doggy daycare. I'm just gonna say, if you know, you know. And if you haven't tried these before, the snowy enrobed Oreos, they're a must. Couple of random, non-exciting top-ups of kitchen foil and cling film. I got loads of snacks. So, first off, I saw these rice-based snacks, which sounded nice, tasties in the barbecue scent, baked, not fried, so a bit better for you i like having those kind of like snacks for when we're hosting for just having we always have things like that out in little bowls like nibble bowls and then these i feel like these are duping the mns they had a range of snacks in these red bags with kind of festive packaging but yeah just really reminded me of like the MS seasonal treats that they do at christmas but this one bacon and maple syrup flavored pretzel sticks i thought sounded so yum. It's the season that I start having my at-home gingerbread lattes or hot chocolates and I love getting these little mini gingerbread biscuits to just squirty cream, a bit of cocoa powder dusting and then one of these gingerbreads just sat in the cream. This was a complete throwback to my childhood. Did anyone else have these? Tangy Toms. I loved these tomato flavored crisps basically and these are also baked not fried but yeah 
You get an eight pack of individual packs in there. So I'm just gonna put that in the snack cupboard for a tasty treat. Tangy Toms, who remembers them? I feel like at our school discos, we'd have like Tangy Toms and Pick, not Pick a Mix, what did we call it? Tuck Shop Sweets, where it was like Penny Sweets. And then we'd have Panda Pop for drinks. And they were our school discos. We knew how to party. Although I'll never forget, it stays with me till this day and haunts me that there was one disco in particular, school disco, that I was so excited for because the boy that I liked said he would dance with me, which that was a big deal at that age. I think we were about 12, 11 maybe. The build up, we were getting our nails done. We had this girl come and do our nail art. And then last minute, me and another girl were told we weren't allowed to go out of punishment because, and rightly so, we were naughty. We basically, because this is boarding school, we were sleeping at school. So we were in dorms of like six to seven girls. And there was a girl that we, she had a Johnny Wilkinson poster. And we drew a little, little tiny little devil horns on Johnny Wilkinson's face. And our punishment for essentially vandalizing this girl's poster was that we couldn't go to the disco. And like I say, rightly so, we shouldn't have vandalized and drawn on someone else's poster, even if we were just doing it as a joke. And uh, that night, the boy in question asked a girl to be his girlfriend. <laughs> we're past it. She still remembers it to this day. Anyway, moving on, I also picked up some desiccated coconut. I use that for my Nana's chocolate munch recipe. And I'm gonna do some soon because it's my dad and brother's birthday. And it's my dad's mum that used to bake it for us. So I always like Father's Day or birthdays because my dad and brother share the same birthday. I said I'd make some munch this year. I've got stock up of that. I need to go downstairs and see if they're the same, but I'm pretty sure they are. These incense sticks, I'm pretty sure I've seen them in TK Maxx and bought one for, they were $1.99 and I thought mega bargain. Was it, were they $1.99? Or maybe even more than that. These were 99p, premium collection, charcoal incense sticks, and they had four different scents, I think. I went for the spiritual and the lavender scents. 40 sticks per pack at 99p. I thought I'm just gonna stock up on a couple of them. I got a couple of packs of 15 in a pack of these just square paper napkins for as and when we've got people over. Again, for nibbles, I saw these, which look quite nice, Popworks sweet barbecue flavor popped crisps. I've got this to go with my cranberry and orange Zaflora. I've got the cranberry and orange Zaflora spray. Some of the pink stuff paste. And then also Domestos have this new limited edition scent for the toilet blocks in vanilla and oud. And then they also had, winter indulgence, they also had that vanilla and oud scent in the surf and comfort laundry detergents but they're usually a little bit too harsh for my skin so i didn't buy those and i just went with the toilet block randomly and speaking of random this is very random a soothing ear cleaner for barney being a golden retriever and swimming quite often have to clean their ears out to avoid them getting ear infections so yeah i've got that and then i've got a couple of stock ups of their gift wrap this little gray and silver gift bag just says a little gift, 59p, and then this card is a classic. I actually have bought this twice before and gifted it twice, so I got it again, repurchased that, 69p, I thought, it's just a bargain, and it looks really nice, that card. I also got an individual, one of the Airwick plugs, plugins, which I'll probably pop out closer to Christmas time, but it's in the scent Mold Wine and Clementine and Spice. And then I got a Nivea Soft, Moisturizer, this is good for like face, body, hands. I just find this one works really well with my tanning drops whenever I, um, which I need to do today actually. Need to pop some tanning drops within my moisturizer tonight. So yeah, I'll use that. Super affordable and honestly one of my favorite face moisturizers. Anyway, I also got a couple of these from the Tom Kitchen range. We actually really have two and Tom loves using these. And he said, when I next go back to Home Bargains, can we get a couple more so that we can have 
more of these for like veg options to pop in for when we do roasts and things he'll put like carrots and parsnips in them broccoli and then i also got one more of the larger one i think the larger ones are about six pounds the smaller ones are two to three and then last but not least i was saying i have caffeine free diet coats so got to stock up of my faves and that guys concludes my home bargains and and sainsbury's last minute sainsbury's trip um but yeah i feel like i'm gonna close off this video here i actually have quite a lot of work to do for the rest of this afternoon having been at the hairdressers all morning it's now nearly it's half five but i want to get some work done before cooking dinner which i actually have no idea what i'm gonna have i might even treat myself and order something today because if tom's gonna be home late then it's my excuse to treat myself to a takeaway but yeah thank you so so much for watching today's video thumbs up if you guys have enjoyed it subscribe for more and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys